Baby Monitor is your total baby monitor solution for your iPhone. It'll even work on the iPod Touch, except for one feature that I'll explain in a minute. So here we have our baby monitor. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings and add your alarm phone number. This is the phone number that will be called when the alarm goes off. And of course that is the feature that will not work on the iPod Touch. Otherwise, everything else that I explained to you will work on the iPod Touch, the newer, the newer version of the iPod Touch, of course, that has the microphone. So we can set our sensitivity here for the sensor, and then, of course, set our alarm settings as well. Time to leave room 8 seconds, alarm after 15, replay after 15, and then alarm when still noisy for 15 seconds. Now under mom's voice, we can record a message from mom that will be played when the alarm goes off and our baby can hear that because of course we would have this phone set closely to our baby. So it's very simple to do. You just hit record and then you can choose the little on and off switch there to play when child is noisy and we could play our sound here as well so that you can hear it. Under our activity log here, it will show the different activity that has taken place. It records noise sound. It lets you know when mom's voice was played. And then when the alarm phone was called as well. I'm going to go ahead and clear those out and let's go to baby monitor. So under baby monitor, we can tap that and then it starts to monitor our baby. That is all that it does. It monitors the baby, it records sound when the baby's noisy, and then also records the amount of time the baby was sleeping when the baby was sleeping. So let's go ahead and activate that and it's going to give us eight seconds to get out of the room. So let's see what it does. So you can see that it's saying that the baby was sleeping and now it's recording our voice level here and hearing that we have noise in the room. And you can see that it is now detecting and recording the noise and saving it to our device so that we can see exactly what the baby was up to when, of course, that went off. Let's go ahead and turn off the monitor. So now you can see under the activity log that we have noise for 28 seconds and slept for 4 seconds. And so let's go back to the baby monitor and take a look at the baby alarm. So now we've activated the baby alarm. It's time to leave the room. So the baby's making noise now. You can see that it's detected noise and if we continue to make noise and it's going to play that voice recording from mom as soon as the countdown gets to zero. So you can see now it is playing. Hey, you should probably fall asleep. It'd be in your best interest. So there's my little recording and of course we're still detecting noise. The baby just isn't having the sleep nonsense so it's going to go ahead and call the alarm, perform the alarm action. So if we're on an iPhone device it's going to go ahead and place a call and return us right back to the app so of course it could be, you know, doing what it needs to do. So this isn't a real phone number that I have entered in. I'm going to go ahead and end the call and then let's go back to the app and we will be able to see the updates in the activity log. We can see that the phone had been called. We didn't have any connection. We have some noises here. Let's go ahead and see what one of those sounds like. He's making noise now. You can see that it's detected noise and if we continue... So it's recorded what I was saying in the background there. So this is a very useful app. Of course, you're, you're going to have to make sure that you're not getting any phone calls or text messages or push notifications because those could disrupt baby as well. Uh, but then again, you know, you could use this for most of its functionality with your iPod Touch as well. Or, of course, if you know that you're not going to be disturbed, you can use your iPhone, and it is a great tool for checking to see how your baby is doing and monitoring its sleep, especially if your baby's having trouble with its sleep patterns. So check it out today. It's a great application with a ton of functionality. Get it in the App Store today.